Hi guys, this is Emily Copelli for Gerda Steiner Designs, and for today's card I'll be using the Happy Hobby stamp set. I already stamped my images on a Strathmore watercolor paper and fussy cut them. Now I'm coloring my pony using the Distress Markers in pumice stone, black suit and warm lipstick. I'm also using a watercolor brush and some water. To color the balloon, I'll use the tarnished brass distress stain. I started diluting it with water and coloring the whole balloon and a little flower. Anyhow, this gave me a very light color, which wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So then, I used the stain without any water and colored the images again. This gave me a darker and a stronger gold color, which I liked much more. Here I already die cut a scalloped oval out of acetate. Now we'll try emboss it with my C6 embossing folder and Big Shot machine. For this I'll use the tab 1, which is the exact same way I try embossed regular cardstock. This is a great way to add a nice extra detail to your shaker cards without too much effort or time. As you can see, it embossed the acetate beautifully. Using my oval dies, I die cut a frame out of white cardstock and will stick it to the acetate using my runner adhesive from a scotch. Once I have both ovals aligned, we'll press down firmly to make sure they stay together. Now we'll stamp the grass image from my brush bunny stamp set on a piece of green cardstock which I already die cut using the scalloped oval. Then we'll go ahead and fussy cut it. To add more dimension, I'm adding some Peels Paint Distress Ink to the edge of it using my brown blending tool. Then we'll go along its edge with my black sharpie. I take out another scalloped oval, this time out of a corally cardstock, and I'm adding some of my abandoned coral distress ink to its upper edge using a round blending tool. Here I cut a thin strip of foam tape and removed the backing paper from it. I have seen this trick several times and finally tried it myself. It works great. It was very easy to stick the tape to the cardstock and the final shaker card looks very clean from the sides without any additional steps which is amazing. Now I'm adding another piece of foam tape which actually I stick to the wrong side of my oval but at the end it was just fine. Then added to it some micro beads in bronze, remove the backing paper from the piece of foam tape and stick to it in the window I just prepared. Now I'm stamping the happy birthday from the set on the bottom of my card base using my Encore Impact in gold. Then we'll glue the shaker panel to the card base using my liquid glue. As you can see, the beads can get into the grass area, which I don't really like. So I prepared another little panel for the grass, which I'll stick on the top of the acetate window using my runner adhesive. Now we'll use some thin hemp to tie a tiny bow and glue it to the bottom of my balloon, which I already stick to my card. For this, I'm adding a bit of my multimedia mat to the bottom of the balloon. And then we'll add a bit more of glue on top of the boat to make sure it doesn't get undone. 
We'll do the same with the end of the string. We'll add glue to the hand of the bunny where I want to glue it and then we'll add more glue on top of it to make sure it stays in place. Once the glue is dry, we'll cut the excess of the hemp cord with my scissors. Now we'll use my glaze pen from Sakura in clear to add some shine and dimension to the nose and paw of the bunny. We'll also add it to the tooth of the bunny, which actually could be a tooth or its mouth, whatever you prefer. This pen is great for small areas like this. And this is the finished card. Here you can see the nice touch that gave the embossed acetate to the card and all the shine from the distress stain and the glaze pen. Also, the corally panel gave a nice matte, almost like a pretty corally shadow, to the shaker panel when you look at it from the side. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Don't forget to visit my blog as well as the Gerda Steiner Designs blog to see the list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here are three other videos for you to watch in case you missed them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!